signs include tachypnea incre uh, increased rate of respiration tachycardia increased rate of heart bounding pulse with a wide pulse pressure with elevated systolic and lower diastolic pressure so the higher pressure is higher lower pressure is lower elevated systolic blood pressure lower diastolic blood pressure bounding pulse with a wide pulse pressure hyperkinetic cardiac impulse systolic or continuous thrill accentuated x s1 narrow or paradoxical split of s2 but it may be masked by continuous murmur since maximum intensity of continuous murmur occurs at s2 continuous machinery murmur murmur starts after s1 and reaches a peak at s2 it then diminishes and is audible only during a part of the diastole murmur is best heard at the second left intercostal space and is also heard below the left clavicle because that's like the pulmonary area right so weird okay so uh, increased respiratory rate increased heart rate bounding pulse wide pulse pressure so the high thing is high the low thing is low in pda hyperkinetic cardiac impulse systolic or a continuous thrill accentuated s1 paradoxical split of s2 continuous machinery murmur machinery murmur pda so pda public display of affection is like machine so like a machine they're just displaying affection like that okay and then S3 may be felt at the apex, uh, followed by a DDM, that is a delayed diastolic murmur. So a continuous murmur along with the DDM occurs in case of PDA. But if it's a pan-systolic murmur along with the PD, uh, DDM, that occurs in case of VST. Differential diagnosis for PDA, small iotopulmonary window defect has similar symptoms of PDA. Uh, iotopulmonary window defect is an abnormal communication between the ascending iota and the main pulmonary artery. Okay, so like PDA is between like the descending aorta and the pulmonary artery. So instead of the descending aorta, if it occurs between the pulmonary artery and the ascending aorta, we call it iotopulmonary window defect. It's a general dude. It's a window defect. Okay. And then comes the cause and complications of PDA. Spontaneous closure of PDA. It does not usually occur in full infants because PDA in term infants results from structural abnormality of the ductal smooth muscles. In premature infants, spontaneous closure may occur because PDA in these infants results from unresponsiveness to oxygen. Smooth muscles. Spontaneous closure of PDA does not usually occur in full, in full infants because PDA in term infants results from structural abnormality of the ductal smooth muscles. Oh, so it's a muscular problem which is why it does not spontaneously close. No, no, no. Uh, spontaneous closure does not occur in full infants because in full infants is a muscle defect. In premature infants, it will close easily because, okay, because PDA in these uh, infants results from unresponsiveness to oxygen. So once there is responsiveness to oxygen, it is going to close. Okay. Pulmonary vascular pressure regresses slowly than normal and maximum decrease occurs at around 6 to 8 weeks. Normally at 1 to 3 weeks, but we cut off on the 6 to 8 weeks. Pulmonary vascular pressure, it will reduce slower than normal. So slower than reduce. Okay. Common complications, a lot of complications occur here. Six complications. Congestive heart failure, most common complication and most common cause of death is congestive heart failure. Infective endocarditis, second most common cause of death. Third is, uh, not third cause of death and all, I, aneurysm of the PDA, rare and possible rupture in adult life. Fourth complication is pulmonary hypertension. Fifth is pneumonia and frequent chest infection. Sixth one is eyes and Minger syndrome. Management of patent ductus arteriosus. Insights most commonly indomethacin are used to induce the induced closure of PDA as these drugs inhibit the synthesis of prostaglandins. Prostaglandins are involved in the maintenance of patency with the ductus arteriosus. So we are uh, we are using prostaglandin inhibitors, so we are closing it. So to keep it open, we need a PG, we need prostaglandin to keep it open. So we need to close it, we need to cut, we need to inhibit the PG okay pg keeps it open okay pg keeps the door open okay if endomethacin is not successful and the ductus remains hemodynamically significant surgical ligation with or without division of the ductus should be performed yeah that's about the pda okay chest x-ray shows enlargement of the aorta prominent aortic knuckle diagnosis is 